how do you hot rod? Uh, well, again, my name is Troy Ladd, uh, owner of Hollywood Hot Rods. And how do I hot rod? Well, um, I've built every manner of car, fast, slow, traditional. I like traditional and vintage. So I've done just about everything that I can as a business. But me personally, how do I hot rod? I personally like cars that do stuff. I like cars that work. So I have a you know traditional style and I like traditional elements of cars, but for me, like my 32 had a Hemi in it rather than a flathead because Hemis are cool and they work. So that's just me. Um, and I kind of have this philosophy that all cars matter. So I have I've had muscle cars, I've had traditional cars. I mean I mean I'm a little shy to admit I as well um, but I know traditional hot rod people are gonna go what the hell dude um, but all of these cars when you drive them and you do stuff and you really like make a push a car to its limits they all have different personalities and they all have different things that are uh, have advantages to them and so now as, 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 I, as I get older too I realize that there's so much to learn like I don't want to just be 32 guy uh, even though I might I almost have a reputation of that like those are I love those I own I owned a few and still own a few but I'm building myself a, a model a right now um, maybe we should talk about how do I hide what's in my collection so there we go. I guess that's an easy way if I have a broad collection and I have to qualify this as my myself and my wife because she's involved too so currently we have a 63 comet convertible with a coyote engine in it in it which is we I think it's the world's most expensive <laughs> comet um, we have uh, I have a 34 or sorry a 32 Ford coupe which is the doer coupe which you may people may have seen it's been on the cover of hot rod magazine it's a barn find untouched I didn't build it it was put in storage in 1950 and I love that car for what it is and it drives great but I also have uh, a 360 Ferrari Spider, and it drives and handles differently than the hot rods um, I'm currently building a blown 392 powered Model A coupe for myself because I want to go well fast in a straight line <laughs> So one of the cars I just finished, uh, actually technically for my wife, but it's I drive it every day to work is a '57 C1 Corvette, and it's got uh, it's kind of like Pro Touring style, all C4 okay. suspension, new frame, uh, C7 brakes, LS3, Magnum six speed. It is an insane little car, and again, back to I like cars that do stuff. That car does stuff. Like it's, <laughs> it, it might be the overall best performing car that I have. Like. You know, I have a. I also have a prototype, like a 2014 Mustang that we did for Ford. It might be fastest car in a straight line. Ferraris might be the best, squig, you know, in, in a squiggly term car. But the Corvette can kind of do it all, and it's a and it's cool because it's a 57. Yeah. So there's that, and then uh, what else do I have? I have, a, I have a 34 Chevy, a three window coupe, which is just like old and cool. Um, gosh, I have like. I have, a, I have a bunch of projects like any hot rod guy does. I have a 30, a 34 Ford Roadster, uh, a Model T pickup truck, a 32 Roadster. Those are all like, who knows if they'll ever get done, but I've always been vintage American hot rod guy. I mean, when I was growing up, um, my daily driver was a 36 Ford five window coupe. That's like, I built it when I was 19 and that's all, that was my car. Like when you're 19, you know, I was four. I just, built it in my dad's garage so anyway so that's how I hot rod I mean I hot rodded from the beginning how I got into this out of necessity so the car right behind me is a 32 Ford a three window coupe and it's the latest project that we just finished it's a six year build and there's no way even to begin to tell you all the craziness of that car like the body is nearly entirely hand built you can see it's chopped section, wheel wells move, uh, bead windshield, bead cowl, radius side cowl to hood, handmade hood, handmade grill, um, split back window, redesigned back half, like more it's more of a European design car. It's Ford, but it has European styling. A lot of Bugatti influence, a lot of early race car influence, uh, vintage 331 Cadillac uh, engine, 391 heads. Uh, that, that that's a seriously built uh, engine even though it's uh, you know vintage caddy uh, uh, 
vintage looking unique design double corner elliptical front suspension that we just made up you know uh, rear the rear is a quarter elliptical sprung like three link with a wishbone type of suspension again stuff that we just thought of experimented with r and d and then built um, the chassis hand built radius i beam just everything is just crazy and the details details everywhere it's supposed to really have a race car theme so there's a lot of mechanical we like mechanical stuff don't make it smoothie and hide stuff if it's mechanical expose it so there's rivets and fasteners and stainless and just stuff that's exposed because it's a race car uh a theme a concept so that's kind of you know basically the the you know the, the overview of the car if you look at the floors aluminum with, with stampings and pressings and just so much detail and and um, and just so people know because people are like oh you guys you're professional builders this is home built stuff man this is like all everyone that myself and everyone that works for me we're just garage builders that decided to quit our jobs uh, we don't have CNC machines we don't have fancy equipment this is all stuff that just takes some some motivation and hand skills and practice. I mean, we, we we probably mess up as much metal as you know as gets on the car. So I always encourage people like they think there's some mysterious professional builder world that that's like unattainable. This is all just normal garage stuff that you can do if you just practice and put some time into it. So.